What's up, man? We at SES, you know what I'm saying? I just got off work an hour and a half ago, 6 o'clock. Got home at about 6.20. I had to get my daughter, everybody situated. You know, I'm, I showed y'all this spot already, but I'm seeing that down. Uh, it's warm, too. It's really warm. That light, light on me. Uh, about to turn the radio on, get all this tape and mask off. Put the torque converter back in. And then uh, I got my chain on at 305. And then that chain that came with that 350. Y'all know I bought this same motor for myself. Um, to drop in a blue box. I'm about to go get both of those. Put it right here. And put the subs in the truck. All these spare parts. I made that spot right there. When I took the speaker box down. Uh, clean this floor up. But yeah, I'm about to go ahead and get it moving, man. Because... I only got two and a half hours. So I'm pretty sure I'm not going to be able to get this thing running two and a half hours. But, I mean, it's uh, achievable. But I'm trying to do it clean. I scratch nothing up. And I got some spots I need to clean up. Stuff like that with uh, paint thinner. But, overall, man, I'm satisfied with this. How this looking. Looking real good. I got to get this taken care of. All that little stuff. But, definitely look a lot better. To my liking definitely all right so enough of that talking about to go on here come my music on and work i woke the beast up she's woke and then, about to drop this <coughs> uh, drop this in this off here but just need a chain, put the chain on, drop it in. AC compressor right there. But, yep, ready to drop in. Got them both dropped off. Gonna move the truck in a second. Yeah, big beef, man. Woke up. Sorry, I'm sorry for waking you up, baby. Sorry for waking you up. I'm gonna put you back to sleep. It's all right. I know you don't like to run too much because you drink all the gas, but it's okay. I'm gonna put you back. Anyway, I got to talk to her a little bit. So eventually, I'm going to run this whole setup fuel injected. So I'm going to take a whole bunch of pictures. I'm going to look at the wiring. And one thing that I don't know, because I know this dude did some chops, boom, right here. I don't know what went to the OBD2, like to the inside. So that's one thing I lost on. And then all these pieces and stuff that ain't got nothing on it besides like O2. I know this is obviously O2. But I don't know, know like what a lot of this stuff is. This is like he went to the distributor. Possibly not. This is uh, that thick yellow. Red and black wire. Probably to the core. Let's see. Uh, that's three point anything over there. But usually it looks something like that. Something like that's the core. So I don't know what none of this stuff went to. So I gotta pull up a diagram and actually look it up. See what went where. Check it out, man. The guy who I bought it from actually labeled everything. Didn't really see it. I just noticed it when I was cutting it off. But everything is labeled. So the whole harness is gonna come up and off. But I'm gonna do like a private recording and upload it to my how-to channel and I'll be able to see where everything went when I eventually try to do this thing, fuel injected. We almost ready to go in, man. A whole bunch of little miscellaneous pieces that we're trying to boat on this boy. Like this oil pan dipstick tube. You wouldn't even know unless I told you. I just put the focus on. But it has to be fabricated. Well, it should be good enough. She need to get right up in that hole. No, it ain't no. Yeah, it's all the way down. So yeah, it should be able to get all the way in that hole. Now, let me put the light on. Yeah, so. Should be able to get all the way in that hole now. Just a whole bunch of little miscellaneous pieces. You always find this stuff when it's time to be done. I gotta respray that part, but. I get it in a second. See, I didn't get that one. But I'm gonna get it. Here. This is connecting to all the wires. Mm. We almost like ready, man. We almost ready. <coughs> what it sound like? 
That's the can. That's the can. Y'all heard. Do it again. Without the broom. Dig, dig, dig. <laughs> <laughs> Dang. Yeah, that's what that's what you want me to do. It's like 8 o'clock. Trying to get some early work in before Harbor Freight open. Didn't show y'all this, but Tuesday we getting ready to drop the motor in. That happened, so. And another wheel. About to put this boy on. And then we drop it back on this. So all that is on pause. This is paid for. About to drop this in, get it thing wired up. Then take it over to JRC. So here is the Veloster Turbo. Box looking real nice in it. What's up, baby? What's up? Don't, don't, uh-uh, uh-uh. I told you not to put it on your hands. But I cleaned it up off you. Uh, Fox is gonna have 45. Man, I cut this 45 with this cheap Harbor Freight saw and it came out like that. I know that's not right. But I, I'll figure it out. Uh, same thing, another 45 gonna be up here. The way I just put a plate on and then I'm sanding it down to even with this. Uh, front looking good. Y'all know how I do. Wife bringing the bracket for the Tahoe. This, uh, I mean, second alternator. And this is the Vortex I'm using right here. We're gonna make a card. The reason why is because I don't want to put a uh, fuel injection tank in there and have to go through all that right now. So just smacking the card, I mean, smacking the intake and the carb on it and then cleaning it. And uh, we spray the whole thing black or something. Make it make it easy, quick, and fast. Uh, I got some rod bearings, and I'm gonna get some main bearings. Hopefully, no wrist pins are broken loose because that's usually, I mean, that could be a problem too. Hopefully, that's not the case. That way, I won't have to take the heads off. But, let me see, jamming. But anyway, here we go. So the second alternator, y'all see how, how it's gonna mount with one gotta be in sideways, other one gotta be in sideways. And this bracket secures these two. But I've been hearing a sound that sound like AC compressors leaking. Well I don't really know. Yeah, it's really it sounds like it's leaking right there. I'm gonna try I'm gonna try to spray it with some uh, some uh what you call it? Soapy water. I got some water. With most of the harness on, just gotta get this stuff on this side at the bottom. You know, JRC in here. We're getting it in. Uh, right after this, everything gets started and everything's good. The hood, it's a three inch, two or three inch uh, scoop, but it's factory style. Like no welds, nobody work on it, nothing. Just gonna drop that on. And, uh, yeah, I almost said probably like an hour and some change away. But yeah, it's almost done. Looking like something again. Almost there. Got that big mech man under there. Oh yeah. Long belt. Extra coolie. J-Rock under there. Sweating this time. It was me last time. Y'all already know. <laughs> but all the fluids in. Just gotta flush everything. Put this trans dipstick back in. Dust got everywhere in the process of me making the box. Uh bunch of miscellaneous parts everywhere but just gotta get these these last set of oats left that's it and i don't even think that's to this car but everything is there man i just gotta figure out these vacuums so i got one let me figure out where the other one went then uh the end of the harness on this side which is two three connections two in the ground the starter and uh, an oil pressure sensor, a new one. Again, and we're ready to start this boy. Ready to start. Just gotta go get some uh, spacers for the torque converter. Like factory converters, man, like they move a lot. Like, I hate that, I hate that. I shim it so it don't move as much, but it still got movement. Uh, just like when you're doing LS swap, you need to space the, put some space in between the converter and the flywheel same thing man like factory ones move and this one moves like more than i like so i'm gonna uh shim it probably like uh i can't tell the details but i'm gonna shim it anyway it's looking good these wires look so crumbled up and 
It didn't look exactly like this, but it looks similar. So I'm gonna play with it, get it right, or get it to my liking. Uh, other than that, man, everything just looking good. Engine bay need to be washed again. It's a lot of dust from the box I just made. Um, yeah, so this probably gonna come off. Mm, just a bunch of stuff everywhere that I, I'm, I'm gonna get it to my liking, but. Yeah, so oil pressure sensor and them bolts, and I'm ready to crank this baby. Letting the battery charge a little bit because it's been sitting for a while. Um, so I'm about to go get that stuff, come right back, take a shower and come right back, and then put those little two pieces on, and then see what she do. Um, making these cables here with two zero welding cable. It's already up there. And so... This was the longest part, longest process, and it's done. So everything else is going to be like a big ball rolling. Everything else. So, yeah. Ooh. It's late. We had autos on. Oil pressure sensor. She got some money. Let me see. Count your money. One, two, three. Yeah. You got how, how much money you got? One, What's the number? Two. How much? The numbers? Yeah. Four. Come on, you messing it up. 